As a TV reviewer, I get invited to many private briefings and demos organized by manufacturers. Now, you may not be aware that most of them do a lot of competitive analysis to try and improve their own products. So in these private briefings, invariably some engineers would ask me, what's the best sounding television on the market? Over the past few years, my answer has always been the same. The flagship Philips OLED TV with Bowers & Wilkins speaker bar. And the latest iteration, namely the Philips OLED Plus 937 I am reviewing today, is the best sounding of them all, delivering even more authority and immersiveness, helped in no small part by the addition of side-firing drivers to the Dolby Atmos Ensemble. TVs constantly come and go in my test room for reviews and side-by-side -side comparison. So it is almost impossible for me to integrate any single review sample within my home theater setup, making me appreciate the all-in-one elegance of the Philips 937's class-leading sound solution which handle the earth-shaking soundtrack in Dune and the soaring highs in The Greatest Showman with equal aplomb. Picture-wise, the 937 is the first OLED TV from Philips we've tested that attempted to mitigate the near-black chrominance overshoot issue on WRGB OLEDs in a meaningful manner, contributing to a more stable picture in dark scenes, for example during this HDR sequence from House of the Dragon, which has been famously graded to under 1 nit. Two mitigation methods were employed by Philips engineers. 1. They made shadow detail look darker than reference, and 2. They applied stronger dithering below a certain luminance threshold to also improve gradation, which you can clearly see on this grayscale ramp pattern from the Display HDR app. As a result, dark scenes would appear slightly noisier, but at least near-black flashing artifacts would be suppressed more effectively than on previous Philips OLEDs. We caught the OLED Plus 937 auto-dimming in dark HDR scenes with little to no APL changes. This is a panel-level protective mechanism which can be temporarily disabled through the service menu, at the risk of voiding your warranty if a Philips technician bothers checking the service log. While HDR peak brightness measured only 800 nits on a 10% window after calibration to D65 white point, the Philips OLED Plus 937 could hit 930 nits on a 3% window to add extra sparkle to small areas of specular highlights. Full field brightness came in at 180 nits, which is the highest we've recorded among flagship 2022 WRGB OLED televisions equipped with both a WBE OLED panel and a heatsink. The Philips 937 adapted its HDR10 tone curve based on max CLL metadata to effectively preserve more bright highlight detail in 4000 nit content. But because the TV was prone to several stripes of posterization at specific tones, certain brighter elements on screen would take on a strange circumferential glow that could look quite jarring. Unrelated to this, Philips provides a dynamic tone mapping function which can be activated by changing HDR tone mapping to advanced, and whose intensity is subsequently controlled by the HDR perfect setting. We found that Philips dynamic tone mapping would more often than not over brighten the HDR10 picture on both objective measurements and subjective viewing. So if you wish to adhere to the creative intent, we would recommend setting HDR tone mapping to standard and HDR perfect to minimum. The Philips 937 supports HDR10, HLG, HDR10+, and Dolby Vision formats. There is some crushing of shadow detail in Dolby Vision mode, which was difficult to rectify without also elevating the black level, so we ended up preferring to watch in HDR10 if possible. SDR color accuracy was very good after calibration, with an average delta error of 1.3, and only one color exceeding the humanly perceptible inaccuracy threshold of Delta Error 3 on this challenging color checker SG chart where 140 patches were measured. As a result, general colors, including skin tones, were faithfully reproduced according to the creative intent. For HDR, DCI-P3 color gamut coverage came in at 99% in UV terms, while Red 2020 coverage was 74%. Somewhat surprisingly, 
the default motion style's setting in filmmaker mode was movie, which would perform some motion smoothing, therefore introducing some soap opera effect or SOE to 24p films however slight. Moreover, we noticed some unusual motion smearing with motion styles set to movie, prompting us to investigate further. It turned out that any motion setting that applied frame interpolation to 24fps content, for example motion styles movie and above, or engaging perfect natural motion, would not only suppress film grain, but also cause some motion ghosting in 24p material. For the cleanest, unmolested picture when watching movies, we strongly suggest just setting motion styles to pure cinema, which would apply 5.5 pulldown to present 24 frames per second films accurately without telecynic judder. Otherwise, like all Philips OLEDs we have tested so far, the OLED Plus 937 handled 50Hz motion impeccably without exhibiting micro stutter or frame skipping across a wide variety of 50Hz broadcast material even with motion interpolation engaged. Upscaling was more aggressive than that implemented by other manufacturers, leading to visible overshoot and fizziness on this SMPTE RP133 test card in 576i. Certain quarters would probably appreciate the sharper picture when watching sub-4K content though, particularly in high definition where compression artifacts were not amplified as much. The TV correctly detected and processed both 3.2 and 2.2 cadences in interlaced film-based material. Despite featuring a coprocessor in its P5 AI dual picture engine, the Philips 937 still manifested some posterization in the skies of the Martian, which weren't smoothed out by engaging noise reduction even on the maximum setting, since there is no other smooth gradation decontouring filter in the user menu. Next, I would like to thank Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Since the pandemic, some streaming providers including Netflix have throttled the bitrate of certain shows, especially in Europe, resulting in a softer picture with more compression artifacts. This is where a VPN comes in. Surfshark allows you to stream content from another country without needing you to be physically there, so you can watch Netflix at higher bitrates with better picture quality. Besides VPN, the new Surfshark 1 package also includes antivirus, Alert and Surfshark Search, a lightweight search tool that lets you search the web without a trace. There's 24-7 live customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and if you use promo code HDTVTEST, you will get 83% off, as well as 3 extra months free. So sign up today and give Surfshark a try. I will put the link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. Okay. Bright uniformity on our 65-inch Philips OLED Plus 937 review unit was excellent, with no noticeable banding or dirty screen effect, and only mild pink tinting along the sides owing to the WBE OLED panel. There was no Venetian blind effect on bright HDR elements either. However, we spotted some faint horizontal and vertical streaks on full field slides just above black on our review unit which would appear from time to time in dark HDR scenes. With game mode enabled, input lag measured 20.5 milliseconds at 60 frames per second, halving to 10 milliseconds at 120 frames per second. Due to the use of the MediaTek MT5895 chipset, only 2 out of 4 HDMI inputs support the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second, of which one is the eARC port. While the single-chip Philips 807 could resolve full 4K 120Hz resolution in monitor mode, the dual-chip solution on the flagship OLED Plus 937 would ironically halve the vertical resolution, irrespective of the picture preset when displaying 4K 120Hz video signal. If you are not bothered by this issue, which is barely noticeable from a normal TV viewing distance to be fair, then you will be pleased to know that HGIG was implemented properly to hard clip at a max TML and max FFTML of 850 nits, while ALLM and VRR worked well on the Philips 937 to deliver a smooth gaming experience. Like on all OLED and mini LED televisions we've tested so far, some VRR flicker was unavoidable in a handful of VRR games, especially during more sedate scenes and on static menus. A VRR Shadow Enhancer setting was provided in the user menu. 
but we did not observe any significant difference toggling the setting between on and off. Otherwise, just like on recent Philips OLED TVs, you will need to change light boost from the default setting of medium in game mode to maximum, then go into the ambient intelligence submenu to disable eye care to obtain the highest peak brightness and more accurate PQ UTF tracking when playing HDR games. By now, it should be quite obvious that gaming is not really the forte of the Philips 937, but considering its accurate colors after calibration, the highest full screen HDR brightness among 2022 WRGB OLEDs, class leading 50Hz motion and sound quality, not to mention unique Ambilight technology not available on rival TV brands, the Philips OLED Plus 937 earns our recommended award. To find out which other rival flagship OLED television performed better at different aspects of picture quality, please watch our comparison video by clicking here.